Morning, everybody. I thought it would be nice to concentrate on flowers for a few days. So this painting was done in the style of Hundertwasser. You may have heard me talk about him before. He was an environmentalist and he just made art with whatever materials he could find on anything he could find. So look around, you can use a paper bag, you can paint or draw on newspaper, white paper, printer paper, um, any kinds of things, fabric, cardboard, open up a cereal box and use the inside and you can make drawings and paintings on those. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do these type of flowers. Hope you can see the paper. Again, we're gonna make a wavy line here. It's gonna be our horizon line. So this is the ground and this would be the sky. I'm gonna make five dots. Remember uneven numbers, one, two, three, four, is even, right? Two groups of two, that makes it even. When we add this fifth dot, it just makes the composition on the paper more interesting. We're gonna take each of our dots and draw a stem down to the ground. You wanna make sure you cross over the horizon and the flowers growing out of the ground. And it doesn't have to be a wavy line, it could be any type, whatever you like. I'm using a Sharpie to draw on my paper because that's what I have, but you can use anything, crayon, pencil, marker, anything. Then we're gonna make circles around the dots. Again, I usually like to make odd numbers of circles. This one's got five circles around it. One, two, three. And then when you bump into another one, you don't have to continue that line behind. It's called overlapping. One, two, maybe I'll make this one smaller. I'll just make three for variety. Four, five. And these are my abstract flowers. Four, five, get that one really giant. All right, it goes off the edge of the page. It doesn't have to be contained on the page. Now to make the background fun and interesting, I like to make what are called concentric lines. You just follow the contour of that first horizon line that you drew. And what it gives you are more places where you can add color. Just make the lines, follow the contour of the shape of the flower. And it'll make your background really interesting. From then on, Use your imagination. Use whatever materials you have on hand. Here's a marker. I had some markers. Just color. Add color to every individual space. Between each pair of lines, add color. Okay, and you just keep going and going and going. I'll put some red here. Okay. Make each band of color a different color for one reason, because it makes it fun to color that way. And also, don't forget your background. If you have lines next to each other that are the same, you start to get big, broad areas of color. And unless that's what you want, you won't get a fun rainbow effect unless you change colors in every band. Okay, so keep coloring that in. And anybody that finishes up your painting. I'd love to see it. If you can get someone to take a picture, you can send it to me on Dojo or email it to me. E Mead, E-M-E-A-D, period, at villasd.org. Take a photo, show me what you've done. I would love to see your work. So I would just keep going until my whole page was filled with color, like this one is, even though it's only a small um, shaped paper. And above all, don't forget to put your name on your paper. That's my last name. There it is. Sign your work. Artists always sign their work. Have a great day. It's beautiful. Get some fresh air. See you later.